My name is Christine Del Rio and I'm from Glenwood Springs, Colorado. In 2002, I was diagnosed with Graves' disease. Um, through the years, I had five miscarriages and I had many uh, different modalities I tried. I did a lot of natural remedies. I tried traditional medicine. I went to the endocrinologist. I was on medication, uh, levothyroxine. Um, and, and then I thought, oh, okay, I'll try some alternative remedies. So I started doing pretty much anything alternative. Um, I would do essential oils. I went to naturopaths. I did you know, about 15 different supplements I would take every day. I did IV chelations. I mean, you name it, <laughs> I tried it. So um, basically I had a friend uh, in North Dakota, her name's Jan, and she had gone to be in health and uh, she was talking to me and she goes, gosh, you know, I had thyroid disease years ago, my thyroid grew back, and she said, uh, I think you have a spirit of fear. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, so that didn't, that kind of didn't set well with me. I was like, uh, spirit of fear, what is that? And, um, and then just kind of seeing the scriptures, how it says, I've not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Um, and there were times during the, the thyroid storms or whatever, what I, I felt like I'd lost my mind. And my kids can attest to the fact that they thought the same thing as well. Um, I just felt like I was going crazy. I had no strength. I was completely weak. And I kind of thought my life was kind of coming to an end. And I was in my you know, early 40s at that point, um, and I was pretty hopeless. By the end of the 14 years that I had it, um, it had kind of spun out of control, and then I went into hypothyroid, uh, so I had Hashimoto's, um, and when they did the antibodies test, I had antibodies for both. I definitely found um, when I looked, I couldn't find anything about Graves' disease, and I, I was really concerned. Even when I heard about being in health, I went, of course, and looked it up on, online, and I searched Graves' disease, and I didn't see, I, thought, I saw a lot of things about Hashimoto's, about hypothyroidism, but not a lot about hyperthyroidism. Um, and they considered hyperthyroidism in a Graves' disease to be incurable. Hashimoto's, they're like, okay, you can maintain it, and you know, you might go into remission. Uh, so I was pretty hopeless, you know, because I thought, oh, not even being in health has <laughs> anything, uh, healing stories about Graves' disease. So that was one thing um, I really felt like when I went there, I kind of didn't expect to be healed from Graves' disease. I thought maybe I would just be, I would feel a little better, but I didn't expect to be healed because I hadn't heard of anybody else that had been healed from it because um, it's considered incurable. So, and I'm totally cured. You know, I, I just kind of left going, all right, you know, I feel I'll, I feel so much better. I cried for two weeks, you know, <laughs> the whole time. Like every day I'd come home and I was just like, oh my goodness, so intense. And it was amazingly intense. And uh, just this whole restoration process of bringing me back to the Father, bringing me back to know that I was His beloved. Like that was the main story that I understood. Uh, by the end of it, it was like, I'm beloved. And, and I, so I go and tell my family this, like, you're so beloved by the Father. Um, so that was the main thing. And once I think I really understood that and believed it and really believed it for myself, uh, that's when my healing came forth speedily. Um, so I came back at the end of March or the middle of March. In um, May, we went to Arizona and I had the same naturopath doctor that had been doing all my blood tests. Um, she, I had her do my blood tests and she said, I don't know what you've done, but <laughs> your thyroid is totally normal. Your TSH and T3, T4, all your levels are normal. She did another test and um, they had done all, several ultrasounds and I always had a pretty massive goiter um, and the goiter was gone. And my TSH was normal. My T3, T4 were normal. Uh, this was all no medication, no supplements. And I had been on 15 supplements for many years. I'd spent thousands of dollars on natural remedies on every possible try, you know, trying to be healed. I had a baby at age 46, um, and he's two now. I have complete energy. I, I feel full of life. Um, I, I feel younger. I, the, the scripture where God says, I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. I feel like that's the whole, I, I've seen restoration. It's not just, he gave me back those years. He restored those years to me, and now I have so much more life and vibrancy than I ever did. Um, I have just a, an abiding peace and an abiding joy. Um, we have many children and I, I trust the Father in their life. I think before I was always so fearful. I had such a fear faith. Um, and now it's not about even trusting them, it's, it's trusting the Father 
in them. And it's been an amazing journey just to be restored that way. And, uh, and of course to walk in, in health is just fantastic. Um, but it's the main thing uh, truly that has been the overriding message has been the restoration of my relationship with my father and really knowing that I'm beloved. I would definitely say anybody who's even considering coming, don't, don't consider it any longer. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to tell you uh, not to come or that you're just, it's just not ready yet. It's now, now, today is the day. Just come. You won't regret it.